What up guys, CSS Cody here. Now I just wanted to document this. This is a bit like off scope for the channel, but it's just in case someone else had this issue. So I've got a friend in work. This is his Surface Pro. I don't know how much they are. I had a quick Google online. You know, they're well over five, 600 pounds with the latest ones coming in at like 13, 1400 quid. The problem he's got is just one day, this just come up. I don't know how, I don't know what went on with it. And because I'm like the geek in work, he passed it to me to try and fix. Now I've had it for a couple of weeks and just cannot fathom my, for the hell of me figure out what's going on. I've tried everything on this, okay? I just bear in mind, I have got a solution and that's why I'm documenting it to see if any of you get any dramas and you'll be able to just follow along with me. So I've tried to, well, I've tried to get him to get the recovery key. If it's wrote down, it's a, it's a offline recovery key. Not got that. He's checked all his emails, all his spam, everything from roughly round when he bought it, absolutely nothing. So we went to skip this and then we went to uh, duh, 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 reset your PC, reset this PC, remove, do you know what? Just remove absolutely everything. But it just goes back to that. So we can do, again, troubleshoot, um, recover from cloud. So this will connect you to your Wi-Fi network, but it just kicks me out once again. So I had a little Google. But reached out online, we'll cancel that because that just doesn't work. Reached out and then Tech Doctor UK got back to me. I'm going to link his channel down in the description below. He said about the Windows 10 installation media file, okay? So it's a tool, which I'm going to show you in a moment. Now you do need a memory card with 8 gig or at least 8 gig on it. So Amazon, thank you very much, 32 gig flash drive. We're going to try this. So we're going to try and load Windows on here and then boot it like that option says there, boot it from a USB device in there. So let's see how this goes. I am literally struggling to get this USB stick out. Right, we have it out. So all we're going to do is insert it into our PC. This little PC down here, which you're gonna see in a mo, is a video coming up on my channel, and it's gonna be a giveaway. So we're on microsoft.com forward slash software download forward slash Windows 10. Create Windows 10 installation media file. To get started, you'll first need to have a license to install, then you can download and run. Ah, it's only a small file anyway. So we're just downloading at the moment. The memory stick, the flash drive is inserted. And then this is where I got to last time where it basically just said your, your flash drive's not big enough. So fingers crossed, we're gonna be all good now because it's 32 gig and it just required eight. Yes. <sighs> I do hope this works because it's an expensive bit of equipment um, for the guy in work. And it would be a shame that if it was just a glorified placemat or whatever. A brick okay once Windows has decided getting a few things ready we'll come back and then do the next steps why right, we just got applicable notices and license terms yeah just as we all do we don't read all of that we just accept it all and then complain about it if they use our data and that's what a lot of people do like with Facebook and that's like I'll oh, accept I will add anyone and everything and then Facebook uses our data and we're like whoa no did not say you could do that when you did user agreement. Anyway, so it's now getting a few more things ready. Here we go, we've had some action. So what do you wanna do? Do you wanna upgrade this PC? And this is the important part. Create an installation media, USB flash drive, DVD, or ISO file to another PC. And this is gonna be our bootable format for on the Surface Pro or whatever exactly it is. So let's go on next, select language. Surface Pro 64 bit. User recommended options for this PC. We'll untick that because we're not doing it on this PC. We're gonna hit on next. This is where I stuck, got stuck last time. USB flash drive, it needs to be at least eight gig or an ISO file, but obviously a Surface Pro does not have a DVD drive to be able to burn the ISO to the DVD. So we're gonna go on next, refresh the list. Boom, we have found it. So we're gonna go on next. Feel free to keep using your PC while wow, this takes absolutely forever. Now what it did say previous, even though, I don't think it said there actually, but I remember it from yesterday. Even if your uh, flash drive has a thousand gig on it 
and you've got files on there, because you're only putting an eight gig file on there, it's still gonna format the actual flash drive. So whatever's on there, just transfer it to a different PC because you will lose it when you're doing this process. The progress is not even at 1%. Just let you know, we're at 1%. It's been 10 minutes. Oh my God, we are so close. This has been like three hours. Right, we are now verifying your download. We will get there in the freaking end. This is taking forever, but it could potentially save the lad in work like 600 pounds, 700 pounds, however much it is. Right, after a couple of hours of waiting, it actually looks like our USB flash drive is ready to use. Whew, big moment. So we're gonna hit on finish, and plug it into the Surface Pro, and we're going to see exactly what happens. Right, we're going to turn this bad boy on and you watch. Imagine if it just booted up now, you know, absolutely fine after all this. Right, so we've got obviously that again, bit locker, no good. So I'm going to skip this drive. I'm going to boot and I'm going to use USB storage. Imagine I should have already plugged it in. Right, we're going to try that again. Skip drive. USB, yeah. Oh, damn. Oh, there's a mouse. Oh, next, Windows, install now. Or oh, it said new, I don't know. Setup is starting. Upgrade, install Windows and keep file settings and applications. Custom install, install Windows only, uh, advanced. The upgrade option isn't available if you start your computer using Windows installation. Um, I'm assuming partition three. Windows can't be installed on drive zero. Windows cannot be installed on this hard Disk space, BitLocker drive encryption is enabled on the selected partition. Suspend, also referred to as disable BitLocker in the control panel. Ugh. Right, we got an alternate way. So I need to power off. So it says shut down your surface, press and hold the volume down button and then press and release the power button. Ooh. So we wanna go boot configuration. And we wanna go from bomb, bomb, Bomb. USB storage. Right, so we're gonna go to restart now. No, I didn't. I didn't press that. Can we? Can we format? Right, here we go again. Just watched a freaking YouTube video. Everything's on YouTube in it. This is it. Right, so I accept. Yes. Let's go to custom. Okay, cool. Um, so we're gonna. Just start deleting these. Ah, yeah, unallocated space at the top. So I'm gonna delete all these other ones. Partition one, delete, okay. There we see. Uh, recovery, okay, whatever. I don't know, delete that, then there. <clears throat> As you can see, so I'm assuming what this has done, it's just wiped everything. And now this is just basically thinking it's a freaking hard drive with 120 gig. Then we're gonna hit on next. Please freaking, oh my God. Right, I need to give this guy a freaking shout out. 6.71K subscribers, this had 177,000 views. Tech411.com, you freaking legend. You have earned yourself a subscriber. I'm gonna come back when we reach a point where it's time to move on. It's still going good. Oh my God, we have got four ticks. Windows needs to restart to continue. I think it may have worked. If this goes to BitLocker or anything like that, it shouldn't do. So I've deleted the partitions and any data that was within and just left basically storage. Yeah, I love my tech, but when it comes to Windows, I'm not a fan of just a moment. Hello, hello, what do we have here? Right, we are connected. Let's hit on next. We are there. I wanna draw something, I've got a fucking pen. I wanna draw. Draw. I'm gonna press and hold. Pen settings. Well, it's Sonic still can't get the pen to work, but everything else is working on there. So he's gonna be a happy man. 
he can sort the pen out. I'm sure he'll be able to figure it out. Just let you know, I updated all the drivers. There was a ton to update, and then suddenly it's all working now.